A Beverly-based search and rescue team just returned home from Louisiana, and they shared with WBZ's Nick Giovanni how they spent the last week helping that region recover from the destruction caused by Hurricane Ida. Members of Task Force One began arriving back at their Beverly base around 9.30 Wednesday morning, having spent roughly a week down in Louisiana. The area that we were working in had some fairly catastrophic damage. The 80-member team comprised of police officers, firefighters, doctors, EMTs, engineers, and communications specialists from around New England saw firsthand a path of destruction left behind by Hurricane Ida while helping with the recovery efforts. The utilities were destroyed in a lot of areas, railroad tracks completely uprooted, buildings destroyed. Uh, and it was uh, certainly a situation that uh, appears to have a long road to recovery down in that area. According to task force leader Sean Brown, the team worked from sunup to sundown, helping with everything from searching collapsed buildings to make sure no one was trapped, to boat operations, to a range of other critical tasks, predominantly in St. John's, St. James, and St. Charles parishes. Nobody wants to see anything like this happen. This is. But it, these things do happen, and this is what we train to do, and this is what all of the task force personnel are prepared to do. And when we're able to utilize our skills and abilities to make somebody else's day better, to save a life, it, it it's, it's, uh, makes all that training worth it, and I would say it's, uh, it's why we're here. And their first stop upon returning to base was for a medical screening. But before getting some much-needed rest, they also had to unpack, clean off, and repack all of their gear for the next time they're called on. Reporting in Beverly, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.